What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last long episode, we actually managed to go through Mount Moon and uh, all those random Pokemon that we found. And yes, we captured ourselves a Geodude. We're going to be using that kind of Pokemon for the battle. And, uh, well, I decided that, hey, screw it. We're going to go battle Misty right now because off screen, I did train my Pokemon. Let me just take a look right here. Now, as you can see, the speed button works for something good. Yeah, we've been grinding, and just to prove it, yeah, look at this. We still got our rare candy and all that crud, so, yeah. We're going to be going up against Misty, and even even right now, it's still a risk to just take on Misty, uh, because her Pokemon are all offensive, they're a little bit faster than us. Yes, it's going to be a risk. Now, the Cerulean City Gym, a mysterious blue aura that surrounds it. Okay, that's not the gym sign. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cerulean City Pokemon Gym, leader, Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. Okay. So, right here, going with the Pikachu is much of an, it, it, is, it, it is a type advantage, the only problem is that, well, unfortunately, uh, it's not the strongest on defense or physical attacks, and plus, it's Thundershock attack is not that great, it really isn't. So, what's going to happen right now is we're going to just, you know, go in there, take a big, 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 big fat risk, okay? So here is the only man that's ever believed in us, and he's going to be like, yo, champ in the making! Here's my advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain all her, all their uh, water po or water with plant Pokemon, or zap them with electricity. And as always, Gary is uh, ahead of us because, well, you know, him. Yeah. Whatever. Anywho, we got three Pokemon battles, or actually two Pokemon, regular Pokemon battles, and one good uh, uh, gym battle. So here we have the first Pokemon trainer. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's do this. So here we have a swimmer, and he wants, yeah, he wants the battle, and he's going to be coming out with a horsey right here. All right, Aaliyah, let's go. Thundershock right here. And this Thundershock is super effective, but here comes that bubble attack. Now, here's the thing about bubble. It does lower your speed. That right there is a huge advantage to Misty. And, well, as you can see, bam. And, well, he's, he, he's coming out with a Shelder. Now, Shelder is both a water and ice type, I believe, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. So there it goes. A Thundershock for the win. Critical hit. And just like that, Aaliyah grows to level 21. And, uh, yeah. That can't be. It can be, Mr. Speedo Torpedo. Mr. Speedo Torpedo. Can't speak. So now that that happened, uh, let's go right ahead and use that rare candy one more time. So there it is. Aaliyah, level 22. So, we kind of have a, a little bit of an advantage when it comes to leveling because, well, yes, Misty's Pokemon are a little strong. So let's go ahead and battle this chick right here. And she's like, I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. Misty can go or can wait. Okay. So here we have a junior trainer female, and she wants to come in with Goldeen. And well, here comes Aaliyah at level 22. Now, there is one little thing though. Goldeen likes to be physical with its horn attack, so look at that. Critical hit for the win. And that is, uh, that is that. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I overwhelmed you with one attack. Let's see. You have to face other trainers to find out how good you really are. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go heal my Pokemon. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in the gym. And now it is time to take on Misty, the Cerulean City Gym Leader. And like I said before, she uses uh, Water-type Pokemon. So here she is. Hi! You're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with Water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host! Are you ready, sweetie? Well, I think you guys already know what I'm going to say. I don't care. I love this song. Okay, so here we go, guys. Round two. Fight. We are taking on Misty, the water-type gym leader. And yes, look at this. Okay, alrighty. Here it is, guys. So, Misty, in uh, Pokemon... Yellow, red, and blue, nothing changes. She does have two Pokemon, level 18, Staryu, and a level 21, Starmie. Both of these Pokemon are fast, very fast. So you guys got to go uh, with a nice approach. Beating them, grass-type Pokemon, electric-type Pokemon, 
those are the things. Uh, there are no such thing as dark type Pokemon, so yeah, good luck with that. So here we go. Let's get it. Thundershock right here. And that right there almost takes out Staryu, but here comes a tackle attack right here. Now, my approach is going to be like this. I am going to paralyze Starmie, and just like that, Staryu has been defeated. And here comes Starmie. Okay. Bring it. And, well, we're going to go with a Thunder Wave attack because, well, yes. Oh my god, it is a critical hit. So here goes a Thunder Wave attack. And that right there par paralyzes Starmie. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to switch out to Tornado just so it could be the, like, the sacrificial lamb right there. Because it does have this move, Bubble Beam. It is a very, very strong attack. And just like that, it has eliminated my Tornado. So it's not going to give me... Oh, crap, Basket. It's not going to give me much of uh, anything. So here's a Pick Hammer. Let's go right here with a Potion. And let's give it to Aaliyah. That way, we can have something. And here comes a Harden Attack. And, well, let's see... Hmm, should I or should I not? You know what, let's go with the Leer attack, okay? We're gonna lower its defense. And it's fully paralyzed, so keep on paralyzed, or we keep on uh, like lowering its thing. There we go. Look at that, okay, let's go, let's go. It's fully paralyzed, yes! Let's go, Pick Hammer, do it. And well, now, you know, here, here we have the uh, War of Attrition right here. And, are you serious, Misty? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so here we go. More Leer attacks. Finish it! We're gonna Leer it to death. Yes! Look at that, okay. And it's fully paralyzed yet again. Yes, okay, so its defenses are going down. Let's go for a Karate Chop since it's uh, still a Psychic type Pokemon. And that right there is a critical hit, so here comes a Tackle Attack. And let's go again. Karate Chop. And that is another critical hit. And here comes the Bubble Beam. Holy crud. Holy crud. And that takes out good old Ma Pig Hammer. So let's go, Aaliyah. Let's do this. Let's get it. Thunder Thunder Shock for the win. Nearly beats it. Oh my god. And here comes a Water Gun attack. And that nearly defeats Pikachu. But here comes Thunder Shock for the win. I am throwing out that peace sign. Yes. That's how you do it. Oh, yes. And Misty is like, I can't believe I lost. All right. You can have this Cascade Bash to show you that you beat me. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes out even outsiders. There's even there's more. You can now use cut any time. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM, and well, just like that, we get ourselves a TM11 Bubble Beam. Well, yeah, there it is. It teaches Bubble Beam. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Alrighty, okay, so... <laughs> look at that, guys. Look at that. Alrighty, so we got two badges in all, and... We did it in a span of a few short, uh, a few short uh, episodes right here. So... The reason why I did that was because it unlocks a few things right here in Cerulean City and on the next few routes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to heal up my Pokemon and then I'll be right back with you guys. Well, hello there. I am back and well, okay. So after defeating Misty, you are able to actually go into this house. Now in Pokemon Red and Blue, this place is home to an individual that trades you a an Ejinx for a Poliwhirl, I believe. Now, if you go in here, you're going to see this is a home for abandoned Pokemon. And if you talk to this girl after getting the Cascade Badge, she's going to be talking to you like this. I take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. I know. Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Yes. And just like that, we get ourselves a Bulbasaur. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and nickname it. This is nicknamed after a good friend of mine. Because, well, that's her Twitter handle or something like that. Say hello to Dubasar. 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 Oh, wait. wait. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. There we go. There we go. And Dubasar. Alrighty. And please take care of Bulbasaur. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Dubasar. So, as you can see, Dubasaur is the grass and poison type Pokemon. 
has very basic stats, you know, all that stuff. And, well, look at that. It has Tackle, Growl, and Leech Seed. Now, some of you guys are thinking, are you going to be using this Pokemon on your team? Not necessarily. I just wanted to get it. That way I can actually showcase it to you guys. Like I said, the Pokemon that I nicknamed will have a home in other games, you know, going on forward and all that stuff. And if you guys haven't checked, I got some plans. Some major, major plans. So... Before we leave, we're going to take another small tour of this whole place right here. If you go into the back side right here, you're going to be able to find another special item. Now, if you just walk aside, walk to this side and press the A button, you'll be able to find something pretty cool right here. And look at that. We found ourselves another rare candy. And uh, we're going to finish off this episode. We're going to finish off this episode the best way we know how, okay? So, let's see. I'm going to go into my iPad. And I'm going to look it up right here. What Pokemon does he have? Okay. Yes, he has those Pokemon because I can. All right. So we're going to finish off this episode with taking on Gary for the third time right here. So let's go straight up. And uh, would you look at that? Yo, Draven. You're still struggling along, the, uh, along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of Pokemon or strong Pokemon. Strong and smart, strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you what I caught. Okay, so here it is, guys. Another battle against Gary. And, uh, yeah, he's caught himself quite a few Pokemon right here. Four of them, to be exact. And he is coming out with a Spearow himself. Level 18. And I'm just going to destroy him. Thundershock for the win. And uh, there goes Spearow. I feel bad for you, Spearow. You're being abused by Pikachu. And, well, he's coming out with a Sandshrew. Now, let's see. Let's go straight to... Yeah, I would love to use Dubasaur, but like I said, I'm not really using him right now. So let's go straight to Pig Hammer. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's do this. Pig Hammer gets up, and let's go with the low kick right here. And it misses good gravy, and well, it's going to miss even more now with the sand attack on its eyes. But look at this. Low kick does it. Here comes another sand attack. Come on, low kick. There we go. And it almost defeats Sandshrew right here. So here comes a scratch attack. And low kick does not work. Good gravy. And now, to be yeah, we're gonna be blinded and all that crud. This is getting annoying. Seriously, when 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 Pokemon trainer spam moves, it just gets annoying. It really does. And let's go low kick for the win. Say goodbye to saying true. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go against Radita. Now I would love to use Sand or Pick Hammer right here, but it's completely blind. So let's go to Terramon. And, well, let's see, Terramon versus Radita. And off screen, I did, I did, uh, well, train Terramon up to a few levels just so I can learn Rock Throw. And again, we're missing everything. Good gravy. Like, seriously, come on. Oh my god. This is getting really annoying. It's really getting on my tits right now. Come on. There we go. Rock Throw for the win. And Radita is not feeling so good right now because, well, look at that. It, it, its HP is not going. How many? Seriously, stop missing the freaking rock throw. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Mega Punch. Even Mega Punch has more accuracy than this guy. How are you missing so much? Jeebus, criminy. Okay, so there we go. Radita defeated. Gets you upset every single time. And here comes an Eevee. So let's go straight back to Pick Hammer. Okay, Pig Hammer. Do not fail me. Sweep the leg. Here comes a low kick attack. And that right there nearly takes out Eevee and it flinched. So here we go. One more. And there goes Eevee. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, we have defeated Gary once more. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him uh, to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's the world's famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using the system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Throwing the middle finger up at you, homeboy. Throwing it up. Okay, so that right there completes our episode for today. Yes, and uh, in the next episode, we're going to be going to the Nugget Bridge. We're going to be going up to bills and all that stuff and then maybe 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 just getting another team member or something like that so i'll see you guys in the next episode don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel there it is the link's down there before uh on the on the link 
And, uh, well, let's see, on the description, I should say. And, uh, well, yes, I am, uh, I am, uh, sponsored by Dubby. So if you guys are looking for some pre-workouts and stuff, there is the, li the link on the description as well. So I'll see you guys next time.